Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So before we get on in today's video, I wanted to take a moment to just bring awareness and shed some light to everything that is currently happening on in the world right now. I know that many, many people are just very heavy hearted and heartbroken on our world right now, our society. I wanted to take some time to bring awareness to the Black Lives Matter movement and to everyone that has died unjustly at the hands of police brutality. I know for myself it has been a very, very hard week. I have been crying every single day. I have been trying to do my part and sign petitions and spread awareness on my social medias. So I am going to be leaving some of the petitions and the resources down below for you guys to check out. Another way that I am helping during these times is I am donating 20% of every sale that I make on my business, my boutique fashion page. Um, I'm donating 20% of every sale to help small businesses rebuild to the ones that have been vandalized and destroyed and broken into. I'm, I'm donating 20% to help them rebuild. I, I know it must be very hard for the ones that have been affected and I myself being a small business owner know how much blood, sweat and tears goes into you know, making your business run and I really want to help out anyone who has been affected. There are many ways that you can help out and spread awareness, whether it be posting on social media, signing petitions, donating to various organizations, or even just having those conversations with your family and friends if you would like to be more educated on the subject. Having those conversations with family and friends allows us to be more open-minded, to be more aware of what is going on in this world and to see how our brothers, our sisters are being affected by simply the color of their skin. We can no longer sit back and watch more and more black lives, innocent lives being lost due to racism. Again, I'm going to go ahead and leave some resources and petitions in the description box below as well as my online store so that way if you guys want to help be a part of helping small businesses rebuild, I'm going to leave that in the description. Thank you so much for taking a moment to just bring awareness with me. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get on into the video. So if you know, or if you do not know, Ross has officially opened in all of Los Angeles. So I've been waiting for this day, you guys. I had been seeing all over social media that people were talking about how Ross has is going to be having so many markdowns because they have been closed for so long due to COVID and that as soon as they opened, they were going to have major, major steals. So you know I had to jump in on this. I am such a one shopaholic and two a bargain shopper I actually posted a video at the beginning of the year when i shopped the ross major markdown clearance event from the winter and i actually got so many good stuff for like so 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 cheap so you know i had to jump in at ross as soon as they opened of course i took all of the safety procedures seriously i wore a mask i stood six feet apart and i would like to say that ross is actually really really good um with all the safety procedures that they were taking. I even noticed in the aisles they had tapes on the floor that were pointing in one direction so you couldn't just go throughout the aisles any way you wanted. It was a system, you can only go one way. And of course, you know, they were reminding everybody over the speaker on social distancing. So I did feel okay to go over to Ross. I felt completely fine and I was able to score a lot of stuff, you guys. In total, I spent about 140. Um, I gave myself a budget of $100 because I was like, you know what, you don't really need clothes. I, I have a clothing boutique, so you don't need clothes, which by the way, my top is from my clothing boutique. I'm going to go ahead and leave it down below if any of you guys like it. But yes, I'm already like just over my head with clothes. So I was like, you know what, we're only going to give yourself a budget of $100, okay? So I went a little bit over, but my main goal going into Ross was to look for like home decor stuff. Um, I wanted to look for clothes for my son and just like other random stuff like that. I really wasn't trying to shop too much the clothing section. So, 
So pretty much everything in the store was on clearance, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Every single department had items that were on clearance. I want to say there was only maybe like a couple things that I saw that were on clearance, but pretty much everything, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Literally everything is on clearance. All right, so we're going to start with bag number one. So again, like I said, I wasn't really going too much for clothes, but I did want to stop by the shoe section. So the first item I have here... are some knockoff Doc Martens, okay? You guys, I know you're thinking like, okay, it's summer, but trust me, girl, I could use these in the fall and guess how much they were. Just guess. So these ones right here were $3.99, you guys. $3.99 for some boots, like what? And they did have a little bit of a scuff right here, which I don't really care because, to be honest, once I wear them, they probably will get scuffed, so, I thought these were a steal, super cute, just like the Doc Martens, um, except they're like a brown color. But these are going to be very useful and handy and fashionable for when fall time comes around. Alright, so staying in that section where the shoes are was the handbags, and again, all the handbags were on clearance. I didn't really need a purse though, but when I saw this one, I thought it was perfect for summer, and that is this one right here. Look how pretty that is. It's like one of those wicker wood um, purses and it's very sturdy. It's like a box. You can see the inside here. And then it has this like cute little cheetah scarf detail on the side. But I've been wanting one of these bags for the longest time, but they are super, super expensive. Like I see them on like Instagram and all over different, you know, boutiques and stuff. And I want to say they're always like $40, $50 just for like these cute little wooden bath, um, purses. But guess how much I got mine for. Let's see. I don't even remember. So I got this one for $6.99, you guys. What a steal. I'm so excited to wear this for summer. This would be cute to be paired with like a summer dress, something floral. Very, very summer appropriate. Okay, so the next item we have here is just a hairbrush. This one is actually, I think, one of the two items that I bought that was just regular price. This was $5.99, but I've been needing a new hairbrush, so that is why I got this. It is the Wet Brush Paddle Detangler. These ones, the Wet Brush brand, um, is supposed to be very, very easy to comb through your hair and not, you know, it doesn't hurt. So I got one of those. Okay, so next bag that I have here, I have two items in here. So the first item that I pulled out are these cute sandals for boys. This is for my son. He desperately needs sandals. So I got him these sandals and they're a little bit scratched, but this is that really nice um, leather sandal, kind of like the rainbows. This one is actually Reef brand though. These are just a really nice quality sandal. And like I said, my son needs sandals. So I went, so this was definitely a score. This one was $8.99, original price $12.99, but I really like them and I couldn't pass. So these are for my son. Okay, next item we have here is a, I guess, beauty product. Um, this is Tea Tree Oil Black African Soap. It's body wash, basically, um, and this one was $3.99. So I just needed a new body wash and I really wanted to try this one out because it has tea tree oil. So it will help if you get any little bumps or like pimples, I guess you could say. It also has charcoal in it, so that is also really good for your skin. So I'm excited to try this one. This next bag right here, I only have one item. So right here we have a candle. Um, all the candles, again, were on clearance. And I am such a candle sucker, you guys. I love candles. I love the Bath & Body Works candles, but dude, those are like $25. And for one candle, I don't know. Sometimes I do do it, sometimes I don't. But... Going to Ross and checking out the candles there is such a great alternative because they have big candles like this. So I would say this size is probably maybe equivalent or even bigger to the Bath & Body Works ones. And I only paid $5.49 for this one. So yes, definitely check out the candle aisle. This one is in the scent Sandalwood. I like my candles to smell very like woodsy and musky, like that, that like masculine type. I don't know, I just like my house to smell like that. So I got this one, I already burned it because I couldn't wait, but this one, um, it kind of smells more like cotton, but it still has that like fresh 
smell to it so i love this so the next bag we have here is basically everything that i got out of the cases if you aren't one to really think about going to the glass cases and seeing what they have like they usually have jewelry locked up in there uh high-end beauty products sunglasses things like that definitely check it out i know people usually just kind of skip by it but i like to check it out because again they have like high-end makeup and stuff like that at a really really good price so i'm gonna show you guys what i got out of the little glass case so i got a glam glow hollywood face mask it's just like a little mini one i really love these glam glow masks i've tried them before at sephora they're very very expensive and even this size at sephora i want to say is like 15 maybe 20 dollars and i got it for 5.99 so yes i'm excited to use this one the next item we have here is a bosha white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray i've never tried this brand but i've always heard really good things about this brand and i needed a new setting spray so i wanted to try this out this one was only 3.49 actually I haven't even opened it let's see oh wow this is really big it's white white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray white charcoal i've never heard of white char charcoal so i'm excited to try this doesn't really smell like much but yeah this is pretty big you get a lot of product so excited to try this one all right guys the next item i have here is a perfume this one is the daisy by mark jacobs this is the second item that was not on sale it was regular price and it was 11.99 but i really wanted to try this perfume out and it comes in like a pretty small size but again um Ross has a lot of the smaller sizes, so if you are wanting to try a perfume out before you commit to buying the big size, I would definitely check out Ross. And I've been wanting this perfume for a while, so excited for this one. Okay, the last item I have in this bag is a good one, you guys. A very, very good one. And it is some key glasses. So, key, quay, whatever you want to say. Um, these were a steal you guys these retail for probably about like sixty dollars i have some key glasses myself that i paid full price for i definitely love this brand a lot the quality is very good they are just some basic black aviators um, a little bit see-through right here on the glasses but all around black and this one you guys can you guess how much you were can you guess i bet you can't they were 13.99 you guys some key sunnies for $13.99. Like, I am so happy that I found these ones. Um, let me go ahead and show you how they look. Let me go ahead and show you how they look on me. What do you think? Super cute, right? I love them. Can never go wrong with like a basic aviator sunglasses for summer. And I actually had black ones um, that my sister lost. So I'm excited. I've been needing some new sunnies. All right, guys, so this bag right here is full of clothes. I did end up going to the clothing section. Um, I actually went to Ross twice that day. I went to the one by my house, and then I went with my friend later on in Glendale. And I got some clothes when I was in the Glendale one. And, um, yeah, even though I said I wasn't going to get clothes, I ended up getting some clothes. So these two right here were for my son. So these two right here are for my son. This one's just a set. You can see right there it's just a button down set it has dinosaurs on it and it came with some shorts i've been needing some button downs just for when we want him to dress a little bit more i guess fancy so um yeah i got this one this one was 4.99 and this one right here is some pajamas my son loves getting character pajamas and this one is shorts with a t-shirt lightning mcqueen perfect for summer um and this one was 4.99 so that's this one Okay, but everything else in here is for me now. So I'm going to go ahead and insert clips too, um, just like I did in the last Ross video of like a little try-on because I know you guys like seeing how it looks on. Okay, so the first top I have here is this very cute mesh butterfly one. I'm obsessed. As soon as I saw this, I was like, snatch. I don't even care how much it is, but it was super cheap. It was only $3.49. And yeah, these mesh tops remind me so much of the 90s. I used to wear stuff like this when I was younger. And I'm just obsessed with the 90s right now. So it has these little ruffles at the bottom. 
it is see-through but um if you wear like a nude bra or like a nude cami under it it's super super cute love it butterflies are very in right now so yeah this is a steal right here this item is a pair of shorts i always am in need of shorts can never have too much shorts especially if you're in california like myself um it is always super hot so these are just a nice pair of high-waisted distressed denim shorts i got these in a size five um they were on sale for 9.99 i believe yeah 9.99 this is the back they're very distressed high-waisted i love high-waisted shorts it was a little bit more expensive expensive for ross but yeah i thought it was a good deal still so this next top here the reason i got it is because one love this color it is like, like a pistachio pistachio color and then um, I just love what the back says. So it is a scripture, Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. And I've been living in t-shirts, obviously, you know, during quarantine and stuff like that. Just super comfy. So this is a nice one. Um, this one was $2.99. So that is a good deal right there. Love this one. The next item right here is a pair of shorts. Um, again, I wanted to get more like comfy things for at home since, you know, we're still social distancing and being at home. Um, this is a pair of like loungewear shorts, but it is the tie-dye, which I am obsessed with tie-dye right now, guys. Tie-dye is so in, especially like the pastel and the like highlighter, hi um, highlighter tie-dye. So cute. This one was $4.99 and it just has like an elastic band and then some string ties at the top. Very comfy, cute, just to like lounge around in the house. Continuing with the tie-dye, I got this shirt right here. This was actually in the men's section. I went to go look in the men's section for my husband and I didn't really find too much for him, but I did find this for me and it is also tie-dye, pastel tie-dye. I'm just obsessed, you guys. Like, those colors, the pastel colors are so freaking cute. As you can tell, I have, like, the pastel yellow on, and I'm just, I'm in love. Um, it also has, like, a little ice cream right there, which I thought was cute and added some nice detail. Um, I do like the over oversized t-shirt look, so I think I got, I got a medium. I could have gotten a small if I wanted it to be a little bit tighter, but, again, I like the oversized t-shirt look, and, um you know just lounging around in t-shirts but then also being able to like go out if you need to so yeah this one uh how much was this one was 6.49 so this and the shorts were like the most expensive things that i got but again i love tie-dye so i couldn't pass this one. Oh wait we have one more this right here is a bodysuit i did originally buy this for my sister but then she didn't like it so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep it it's this snake print bodysuit um the material is actually really really soft and stretchy pretty much just like a basic bodysuit to wear with jeans or shorts um and this one was a $3.99 I like that it has like the nude blush pink um color to the snake print so yep that one and then the last thing I got here or like clothing slash accessories is this belt right here okay so I know you're probably thinking like what the heck kind of belt is that but these belts are so freaking cute and they're so in right now this reminds me of like the 70s I think this would look so cute with like a thick vintage denim um you know to go with those like vintage vibes so yeah I got this one and this one was $3.99. All right, guys, so we're almost done. We got one more item, and this item is a big one, so I gotta go get it. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. I got a big painting. Hopefully, you guys can see it. If not, I'll insert a little clip of the whole thing, but this is the painting that I got. It's basically a um, canvas of the whole entire world and the continents are like this beautiful gold foiled um detail and i'm just obsessed with anything that has like gold foils in it i actually have a painting in my living room right now that has like marble and gold foil in it so i'm not sure where i'm gonna put this one but i couldn't pass it up because guess how much it was guys 
I'm gonna pause. Yes. So that painting was only $9.99, you guys. Originally, it was $30, and I got it for $9.99. So I feel like that one was one of my favorite purchases because I just love home decor. All right, guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite item was that I got from Ross. I would say my favorite item would have to be the key sunglasses or the big painting that I got because I just love home decor. But yeah, I'm super excited. I love budget shopping. I always get so excited for when I get a good deal. And I'm sure many of you do too. Before you head out, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love doing these types of content where I do hauls and budget friendly stuff. But aside from that, I also am doing more business related videos. Um, so yes, if you're interested in any of that, please subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or rest of your night and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!